is Jim Heller from Austin, Texas, and I'm here to share a big event, a big day for me. Today is January 16th, 2014. Exactly one year ago, January 16th, 2013, I weighed 252 pounds, and I decided that I was going to make a serious attempt to lose weight. So I went on the MetaFast weight loss program. I went on as a customer. I'm not any, I have no commercial connection with MetaFast or any of their MLM dealers except as a customer. I was able to go from 252 on January 16th, 2013 to 190 on June 6th, 2013 when I took my official FAA flight physical. Uh, I can't tell you how good I feel about this. You know, I don't want to brag in this video, but I want to motivate people. If anybody who might search for MetaFast, A, if you follow the program exactly, it works. You can look at some of my earlier videos where I discuss this in detail. But, or if you just Google MetaFast on YouTube, I'm like the third guy there. So anyway, it works if you follow it exactly. If you just do it half-ass, it won't work. You've got to follow the plan exactly. You'll feel fine after the about week to 10 day adjustment period. Just trust me on that. Give it three weeks and see if it works for you. It doesn't work for everybody, but it's, it'll work for a lot of people. I got a lot of uh, inspiration from other MetaFast YouTube videos, uh, MetaFast users. I, I Google MetaFast all the time and I'll usually put a filter in of one week or one month and look at what people are doing. And uh, I wish I could name all the people that inspired me uh, there's a bunch of them out there. I just don't want to take the time to list them all. I may put the best ones in the show notes here. There's a lot of you know fun things that happen when you do MetaFast. <laughs> Let me show you one. This is Kevlar super padded motorcycle pants. Uh, these are crash tested by me twice. They're the next thing to a nice suit of armor. Uh, because I was so fat, at the time I had made these, I was probably at, near my all-time peak of 270 uh, with a 50-inch waist instead of a 37-inch waist that I've got now. It was just, I had to fly to California. These were made in California. I had to have it custom made. It cost about $500. Uh, let me put it on for you. I still wear this because uh, even with it, you know, me being a bit smaller than it was, it's still, you know, <laughs> I crash tested it not too long ago <laughs> and uh, it, it saved my rear end in the literal sense. It's kind of funny how you put it on. Okay. This is made by a company called Motoport. And I'm trying not to get it tangled up in my mic cable. Okay, here's my, my custom made, custom fit Kevlar pants. I got these about three years ago, I think. Look, look at this. I don't know if you can see it. I could put a small mammal in these pants. <laughs> A medium-sized mammal like a raccoon or a koala bear would easily fit in there. Uh, so I have a good thing I have these suspenders to hold them up. So anyway, these are my <laughs> chimongous motorcycle pants. Uh, I don't know what to do with them. Uh, probably someday I'll put them on eBay and and get it. Go out to California and get another pair that fits better. That's a, a tremendous thing. Another thing that happened recently was I we were, went up in my attic and I pulled down a duffel bag full of military uniforms from when I, read, I retired from the Air Force in 1994. And I put them up there a few years ago because they weren't even close to fitting. Well, they, they just about fit now. My, uh, my Nomex jacket, flying jacket fits. Uh, my uh, Air Force issue leather jacket almost fits. It's a little tight around the tummy still. And my uh, Nomex flight suit's the same way. It'll, I can zip it up, which I certainly couldn't do before. It's just a little tent tight. So I'm gonna try to lose another uh, seven or eight or 10 pounds over the next month by going back on the five plus one plan. 
You know, I've read a lot about uh, losing weight, and a couple of things uh, stick out in my mind. Uh, there was an article, I believe, in the Atlantic Monthly not too long ago. I, I wish I had the link. I'll try to find it, and if I can, I'll put it in the show notes. Uh, this uh, lady, had, she didn't use Metafast, but she did her own program that involved a lot of running, and she lost a lot of weight like I did. And she said something that really has stuck with me. Uh, she said the way she got from hardly being able to get off her couch to running the New York Marathon was that she just concentrated on making small decisions. And that's been ringing in my head ever since. Uh, it's fine to say, I've decided to lose weight. But then you think, geez, I weigh 252 pounds. And it's, take, it's been like forever since I was anything less than that. And, and it's just too big. I'm, I'm going to go, where's the cookie jar? You know, uh, but if you say, if you take it one day, at one decision at a time, one small decision at a time, you know, I had a, we have free junk food where I work. So I go over there, we also where all our water is, and you drink a lot of water on Metafest. So I go over there with a cup to get water, you know, and there's a big stack of cookies or there's a bunch of, uh, uh, Doritos in the in the closet there and pretzels and all kinds of good stuff or I could reach in the refrigerator and pull out one of my manifest bars if I if I was hungry it's a small decision and but that small decision can throw you off the track or keep you on it so don't worry about if you go on any weight loss plan whatever works for you concentrate on saying Okay, every time you make a decision about what to eat, make a conscious decision. Say, I am going to eat this, you know, off-plan item. I'm, I'm going to take the risk. I've made a conscious decision. Or I'm going to defer that, and today I'm going to stick, eat something that I'm allowed to eat on whatever program I'm on. Make those small decisions. Uh, there's a fellow on the History Channel, I forget his name, the one who has the, the show about uh, restoring things, the restoring things guy on the History Channel. He's running a commercial that really, I think, is relevant. He says, he quotes Henry Ford, he says, if you think you can't do it, or you think you can do it, you're right. And for me, anyway, that was the case with losing weight. I th for years, I thought, I couldn't turn the clock back to where I could ever get in an Air Force uniform again. I didn't think that I'd ever get off of blood pressure or cholesterol medications. I didn't think that my doctor would, would ever tell me th that I wasn't very close to being diabetic. I, I didn't think any of that was possible. I didn't think that I could walk more than a mile and a half ever again. Now, I had a knee replacement in the middle of all this, which helps a little bit, So, but I can walk considerably further than that now and feel pretty good about it, and I enjoy it. So when I thought I couldn't lose weight, I couldn't lose weight. When I thought I could lose weight, and that didn't happen on day one, that happened on about day 15 or 20. If you look in my playlist of health and uh, fitness uh, videos, uh, I have a made a video on my motorcycle at one month into the program, and at that point, I was on fire because I'd proven to myself that I could do it. Now I, now I knew I could do it, so I was right. Just like when I thought I couldn't do it, I was right about that too. Those really, really made a difference to me. I did, I weigh every day, and I recommend you weigh every day. Uh, I track it, I have a uh, track it on two different tracking sites, the Metafast site and the Fitbit site. And I went pretty much linearly down to 190, and then went a little down as low as 182, had my knee replacement in July, came out of the hospital about one, one excuse me, I went down to 182, had my knee replacement, I came out of the hospital about 192, Lost that way, which I think was just a lot of IV fluid, pretty quickly, and I kept it below 190, which is my my red line, until the period between about December 20th and January 3rd. I, I don't I'm normally a recluse and don't go to parties, but I went to several of them, and it seemed like everywhere I went they had cookies. And I, please don't get me around cookies because my self control vanished. I went up to 192 about two weeks ago, so, but now I'm back down to 187, and that's okay. I am going to try.
to go back on the five plus one fans. This is the Thursday, next Monday, because this is the easiest to start your plan when you're, uh, it's harder on weekends. So Monday, when you have an eight to five job like I do, that's a good time to start your manifest program. I'm gonna restart it. I'm gonna try to get my, uh, get it to where I never go above 185 or maybe even never above 180. It seems, I'm telling myself that I couldn't get down to 180. I find myself telling myself that, and then I think about it, and I say, well, Jim, you idiot. <laughs> when you were 270, you didn't think you could get down to 240, and now you're, you're 190 minus a little bit. You can do it, so hold me to it. I'll be back in a month or so. This is Jim in Texas. Uh, drink some water, get on a health plan, and succeed at your goals. Oh, one more thing. If you put up a YouTube video about weight loss, you got to check it all the time. Spammers get over that like, uh, like a, a, a goose on a June bug. Uh, I did my first DCMA takedown uh, yesterday when somebody lifted one of my videos and just put it on their website with a link to some spam weight loss site. This video is copyrighted. <laughs> if you're not seeing it on the Jim Howard or Jim in Texas channel on YouTube, then please uh, let me know because uh, you're, and don't click whatever links there if it's not from Jim or Jim Howard because you're watching it from a spammer. I won't do this every time, but spammers, this is copyright and I will take you down when I find you and I will because I'm searching for manifest videos all the time. Okay, enough of the rant. This is Jim. I hope everybody had a great holiday season. I hope you have a great 2014. See you in a month or so.